Rachel here with another video for you guys. Um, this one is going to be all about uh, what's on my iPad. There we go. That's better. iPad. Um, I'm not going to go over everything that's on here because there's a lot of duplicate stuff that's also on my iPhone. Um, but I'm just going to kind of go over some of my favorite things that um, I use the iPad specifically for as opposed to stuff that I can use on both the iPhone and the iPad. I like technology, especially Apple. Uh, <laughs> um, but I got this for Christmas from my husband. Um, Honestly, I never thought that I really needed a tablet, and I probably still don't need a tablet, but um, I've actually, since I got it, I found it to be very, very useful. Um, obviously, you know, there's all sorts of tablets out there. I got an iPad. Specifically, this is the iPad mini, um, 16 gig, I think. Um, because everything else I have is Apple. I have an iPhone, I have an iPod, I have an iMac, I have an, I, an a MacBook Pro. So I'm very familiar with the Apple user interface and how their products work. And I've got, you know, an Apple ID account and iTunes and all that. So it's like, if I was going to get a tablet, it was going to be an iPad. That way everything could kind of work together. So that's just me. Obviously, if you're thinking of getting a tablet, you should look at all the different brands and the features and all that and see what works best for you. But for me, being an Apple person, sticking with Apple made the most sense for me. Um, so, yeah, the outside, the cover is, it's actually just a plain black, like, faux leather cover that I got at Best Buy, like, the day after Christmas. Um, I could not decide... <laughs> What kind of cover I wanted. I knew I needed a cover, you know, if I'm going to be carrying this around, um, but I could not decide what I wanted as far as the cover goes. Um, you know, I was looking online at all the websites like Amazon and Best Buy, and I was going on like Etsy to see about maybe something that somebody designed, and I could not make up my mind on one specific cover. So I finally was like, okay, I'm just going to get a blank one, an inexpensive blank one, at least for now. And I figured it'd just be a placeholder until I finally found one that I was like, oh, that's it. And so I got the blank one and I just kind of stuck with it. And finally I was like, you know what, if I'm going to just keep the blank one, then I might as well personalize it. And I figured the easiest way to do that was with stickers. So I started out with um, the sticker from AAA and one of the Apple logo stickers that comes when you buy any sort of Apple product. It comes with like two of these. So I stuck one on there, although it's coming off. Um, and then this one I picked up at the museum the other day from a booth. They were passing them out. So it's all like, it's weird, but at the same time, I kind of like it. So, you know, as I go around places and you know if I'm at the mall and there's a store and they've got like stickers for sale and I see something with a de design that I really like or something then I'll buy it and I'll slap it on here and then next thing you know I'm gonna have this nice collage all over my iPad case so and I may still down the line get something off of like Etsy and something and get something fandom related like Doctor Who or Harry Potter or something but I there's so many and I cannot pick up my mind at all. I'd either find one that I really really liked and it was way too expensive or I'd find ones that are more my price range and I'd be like eh, well I like this one but I like this one and this one and this one and it's like I'm not gonna buy like six of them so I finally just like I'm just gonna buy a blank one plain for now. And then we'll figure it out later. <laughs> if anyone has any suggestions um, of maybe websites that maybe I haven't heard of, 
that have good like unique designs that aren't super expensive because like I'm not going to spend $40 for case up for my iPad. That's just ridiculous. Um, and I've seen ones more expensive than that. Like really? You're going to buy a case that's more expensive than the iPad costs? No. That's just... If, I guess if you've got the money, good for you. But I don't. So, yeah. If anybody's got any suggestions for websites, you know, leave them in the comments. I'll and I'll look into it. Thanks. Okay. On to the iPad itself. Um, as if you guys have seen my what's on my iPhone video, then you know that um, I have my lock screen and my wallpaper are two different images. Except I don't know. I think when I made my iPhone video, I don't know if that was the case. I think it was. I think at the time when I made that video, it was me and Peter Davison as one image and then me as me and Richard Sherman as the other image. I may have to go look at my video and find out. Anyway, the iPad itself, lock screen, you know, if you if you're familiar with the iPhone and the iPad, your wallpaper, you have the images you see when it's locked and the image you see when it's unlocked. Those can be two separate images. And if you know me, and you know that I am a nerd and I am a fan, a fan of several different fandoms um, that I was not going to just have any old wallpaper on my screen. So at the moment my lock screen, and hopefully it will stay up long enough for you guys to see it, is this image from Sherlock. <laughs> so I have Benedict Cumberbatch and Martin Friedman looking at me and it says Sherlock on the top looking at me when my iPad is locked which I really like so yeah I just kind of went on Google and looked for Sherlock images and that's the one that came up that I like the best so I'm like that's gonna be one of my wallpapers and of course being my other favorite thing, one of my other favorite things in the entire world, my unlocked wallpaper is Doctor Who. Which this image unfortunately is a bit um, truncated, not truncated, cut off. Um, especially this way because this image is actually, let's see if I turn it that way, you see more of it. But it's actually all 11 Doctors, but again it's cut off this way you you get what five <laughs> going horizontal and I actually probably need to switch to an image that has all 12 and now that we've got Peter Capaldi and know what his doctor is going to look like I need to probably find another image that shows all of the doctors including Capaldi's doctor but yeah I have Doctor Who is that wallpaper and like I said, I'm not going to go over every single app that is on here because, like I um, said, that I have uh, all of the apps that are on my iPhone are on here. Not all the apps that are on here are on my iPhone because some of them just don't make sense with my iPhone. I'll explain in a minute. Um, of course, I have the usual. I've got Twitter, Facebook. YouTube. Um, I also have Netflix on here, which is awesome. Um, this actually works out well. It's one of the things that I've really enjoyed as far as using my iPad just for uh, personal things. Excuse me. Is um, before, like if I wanted to watch Netflix while playing on the internet, um, I'd have to have the two browser windows open and kind of shrunk so that they both fit on my laptop and therefore either you know I was having to, to um, lose uh, screen size as far as watching something on Netflix while still having room to do whatever I was doing in the other browser when I'd be on Facebook or Tumblr or whatever um, which you know first world problems yeah I can live with that but now I can be on my laptop and doing whatever 
and have my iPad as a second screen and have on Netflix or YouTube or whatever, um, which is nice. Um, again, not something that's absolutely necessary, but if you're somebody like me who likes to multitask, screen real estate is um, very important when you're trying to do stuff. So that, uh, again, just, that's probably just me. Well, I know it's not just me because my husband's the same way, but uh, I'm sure I'm not the only one besides my husband and I that feel that way. Um, another app that I have on here that I actually do have on my iPhone, but I don't really do it on my iPhone because the screen is so much smaller is Doctor Who loading. I have Doctor Who Legacy, which I love and I hate at the same time. If you guys do not know what Doctor Who Legacy is, it is a game and it's a free game, which is awesome. Yeah, if you've got um, iTunes and I think it's available on the Android market now as well. Um, but, uh, it's a, it's a game. It, it's, it's kind of like Bejeweled where you just match balls, gems of a certain color and you get so many and it gets you points and then the points, um, here, I'll start it so you guys can see it. I'm not going to do like a whole thing about the game, but, uh. Play episode. Here, let me go to an easy episode. Easy, yeah. Uh, and this, they, they call them episodes. So you got season six, season seven, although the actual storylines don't necessarily match, if that makes sense. But, uh, it's like Bejeweled, but better. <laughs> if you've ever played Bejeweled, it's like Bejeweled with Doctor Who, but better. And this is like my team that I'm. Use it. But you, you start out with Matt Smith's Doctor and Madame Vastra or Jenny. I think it's Madame Vastra and then you get Jenny. Um, and then you eventually get Strax. I see they get the whole Potter gang there. Um, but uh, you eventually earn the different Doctors and then Companions. I've got, you know, see there's Matt Smith's Doctor. Um, there's Jenny. And there's a whole storyline that goes with it, but essentially, at least when you're starting out, you're fighting the Sontarans. But see, you've got the, the gems. I should have picked a different level because this one explains to you how the game works. Sorry! But see, there. You get points, and then everybody, every character's got an ability. And if you match so many of their color, which coordinates with their color, it builds them up to the point where you can activate that ability. Some are defensive, some are offensive, some are um, neutral, like ones that just give you health points, um, that sort of thing. But uh, yeah, but it's, I love, I love Doctor Who Legacy and I hate it because I got to a point where I was on this one level and I could not get past it. And eventually I did and then I got on this tear and now I'm at this other level and I'm like stuck and I cannot get past it to save my life and I want to like punch somebody. I want to like punch a Sontaran in the face or in this case a silence in the face. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's if you like Doctor Who and you like like puzzle type games highly recommend it, especially because it's free. Although there is the fan area, which um, you only have to spend $4.99 to open up. Um, but you don't have to, but if you do, you will not regret it because there's characters that you can only get in the fan area, which those, some of those characters are really helpful. Um, plus this game, as I have other friends who have it and have played it, this game would be worth the $4.99 on like iTunes. Um, but the fact that it's free, even better. Excuse me. <coughs> Pardon me. I've got like allergies, like something horrible. Oh, pardon me. So yeah, that's my little like five minute rant about Doctor Who Legacy. I'll, I'll put it as a uh, link 
um, to the, the website or the Facebook page um, for the game. So if you want to read up on it, um, you can. I, I recommend at least, you know, looking into it. Um, that and the guy, one of the guys that's part of the team that created it, um, really nice. Um, I can't remember what his name is at the moment. Completely blanking on it. He's British, I can tell you that. Um, but really nice guy. Uh, a friend of mine met him and interviewed him at um, Gallifrey One last month in Los Angeles. And uh, yeah, really cool people, which makes that even better because the game's really cool and the people are really cool. I'll put a link to the interview in the description as well. So, uh, what else? Uh, I have some other games that I play eh, somewhat often. Um, I've got four picks, one word, which I was playing somewhat regularly, but now I'm not. Um, I kind of do sometimes. I have Solitaire. Um, this one is a favorite. It is 1001 uh, Ultimate Mahjong. Which, again, I'm, I'm not really a gamer. <laughs> so, uh, as you can probably tell. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's just Mahjong. Um, I actually got the... I started out with the free version. Um, but I liked it so much I ended up buying the, the paid version, which I think was 99 cents. Which, you get a thousand, literally a thousand and one Mahjong games to play. So I figure for 99 cents, a thousand and one games, not a bad deal because that's less than a penny a game. Uh, so, but uh, yeah, if you just like, you know, these type of games, check this one out too. That's a, that's a favorite. Um, I have uh, Lumen, Lumosity, which are those, I've probably seen commercials on the TV for them, but they're supposed to be like brain builder type games. Um, I've just got the free version. I'm not sure how much it actually costs if you want to unlock like everything. Um, so that I'm not entirely sure. So this doesn't let you play all of like their, their brain building games. But the ones even on the free version aren't too bad. Um, and then I've also got um, a Disney Gardens of Time. Which if you're on Facebook um, there is a game, oh, music, hello, um, new chapter released, awesome, um, I'm gonna close that with some music, but, uh, there's a game on Facebook that's also Disney, and it's Disney, um, Hidden Worlds, and what it is, is kind of like I Spy, um, they give you either names of objects that you need to find in the scene, or they'll give you, like, um, just a, a shot of something and it could be like somebody's elbow and you got to figure out where it is and you got to click on it and you, if you get so you know the faster you find them the more points you get and that sort of thing um, and um, the, the Facebook one is all with Disney characters I just finished the uh, Beauty and the Beast era section um, I'm not quite sure what's op going to open up next um, this one is doesn't necessarily use Disney characters, but um, it still has a Disney name on it. And it's the same idea. Um, it just gives you things to find, and the faster you find them, the more points you get. And then the more points you get, the more stuff you get to unlock. So I like simple games. I'm not much of like an RPG or MMO um, type game. Player. My husband loves that kind of stuff. Me, give me Farmville any day. Uh, what else? I, I have the Kindle app. Um, I have a Kindle, which I don't use. I feel kind of bad because my husband bought it for me for our anniversary several years ago. And for a while there, I did. And then I just got so stinking busy, I couldn't, I didn't have time to read. And now it's just kind of gotten to the point where it's like, I have the Kindle, I have the iPad, I don't want to carry both, so it's much easier for me just to have the Kindle app on the iPad, because I tend to carry it with me, 
um, and I can just all the books that are on my Kindle are on here as well so the actual Kindle itself is kind of redundant now at this point so I don't know I'll find some use for the Kindle or something I'm not sure but uh, yep I have the Kindle app I'm in the middle of a if you if you just saw if you watched the video I just put up the TMI tag video that I just put up a few days ago I mentioned in there that I was in the middle of well not in the middle of I just started a uh, Doctor Who uh, book um, adventure book called Long Borrow and this is it so, like I said I think it was on page 13 yes I'm on page 13 so I haven't gotten very far and I think the last app that I really want to show you guys is this one and it is the white noise ambience um, app and this is just the free version I, I believe there's a paid version for like 99 cents but I just went with the um, the free version because it, it has the sound that I want to uh, use anyway um, but uh, it has different different sounds um, that come with it you've got ocean waves um, campfire um, a grandfather clock among others a refrigerator a hair dryer <laughs> um, a cat purring um, but my particular favorite that this is the one I use is the floor fan um, I am a super 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 light sleeper like unless I'm sick I wake up to the sound of nothing <laughs> which I do often several times a night I I it takes me forever to fall asleep in the first place once I'm asleep I do not sleep through solid throughout the night my husband could sleep through World War three he is one of those people me if a blade of grass was to like fall over outside I would wake up I, that's somewhat of an exaggeration but it's actually pretty darn close to the truth I do not sleep solid throughout the night I wake up at least a couple times a night for no reason whatsoever you know yeah, yeah every now and then it, I'll wake up because I had a bad dream or I gotta go to the bathroom or whatever but a lot of the time I wake up in the middle of the night for no reason whatsoever. I just wake up and then I lay there and then I have to try and go back to sleep which is not easy for me because I do not fall asleep real quickly either. So and I just I've always been that way. I've always been a light sleeper. I sleep with earplugs which helps because my husband sometimes snores. Not always which is good but sometimes he snores. Um, but even then even with the earplugs it does not drown out everything so I just got to the point where it's like okay I'm gonna need some sort of white noise or something to help um, so when I got the iPad I was like okay I'm gonna find myself a white noise app so I found this one and I love it because the fan sound is just the right noise for me um, it's great because um, you can set it so it's on a timer um, so you know you can uh, set the timer so if you know you're gonna get up in you know 10 hours or 8 hours or you know if you're somebody like me and you've got a spouse that you're trying to um, drown out um, and you know they're gonna get it before you you can set it so that it stops once they're up since you know you don't have to drown them out anymore and then it's also great because you don't have to leave it on this because you get the glow from the iPad which would be annoying but it has a clock as well so you get the nice dark screen and all you see is the glow from the numbers which is awesome so yeah I think that's uh those are the highlights I think that I wanted to uh, share with you guys um, like I said pretty much everything else is are the same apps that are on my iPhone so um, if you want to 
uh, hear about those, watch my What's on My iPhone video, which I will link in the description. Um, obviously, I don't have ringtones or anything on here, like on my phone, but as far as apps go, pretty much identical, except for those few that um, I've mentioned to you guys. But, uh, yeah, I, at least for home, I found um, the, the, the tablet to be quite useful. Um, it's great if I want to say in the morning I'm eating breakfast and I want to watch um, Rhett and Link's show Good Mythical Morning. I don't have to lug the laptop out so that I can watch it and I don't have to necessarily watch it on my phone either which you know the phone obviously is really portable but the screen is small and as I get older I find that bigger is better as far as screens go. Um, that and it's the iPad's big enough that both my husband and I can watch it at the same time so I have to both stare at the tiny little iPhone screen um, and it's obviously really light and portable um, it's, I've also found it helpful for work um, my work uh, my uh, cubicle setup at work is I have two screens so if I'm doing um, like a workshop or something I can have the workshop, whatever software for the workshop open in one screen and the PDF with the instructions in the other so I'm not constantly having to switch back and forth. Um, you know, read a few steps, switch back to Photoshop or whatever it is I am, do the steps, switch back. Um, but uh, I've had a few times where I've needed to be able to work from home. This becomes my second screen. I can be on my laptop. This becomes the thing that I can look at the PDFs. Um, and it works just as well so not just for you know my own personal entertainment but this has actually come in handy for work like I said your everybody's situation is different as far as their technology needs I would be able to make do with out the tablet um, but I've certainly found that it is a heck of a lot um, more convenient to have that second screen in certain situations. Um, if you want to, I guess, know more about the iPad, um, obviously Apple, their website is probably the best place to start. Um, I'm sure there are other websites out there that let you compare tablets. Um, I know there was a few that I went to when I was trying to decide which one I wanted um, because I wasn't 100% set on the iPad at first. Um, unfortunately, I don't remember the, what websites those were because this is way before Christmas and I've slept since then at least a little bit. Um, but uh, yeah, you know, just Google, you know, tablet comparison, that sort of thing. Or, you know, I. Apple versus Asus or, you know, Apple versus Android tablets, you know, that sort of thing, you know, ask people, if you know anybody that has a tablet, you know, ask them um, about theirs, you know, what do they use for, use theirs for, you know, are there any limitations that they, you know, are things missing that they wish their tablet had or stuff their tablet has that they don't need, um, that sort of thing. Um, you know, technology is one of those things where it's like, you know, it's not one size fits all. But for me, Apple tends to fit most of my life. Uh, but that's just me. So, hopefully you guys found this interesting. Um, if not, I'm sorry. Oh, well, you watched the video, so you must have found something interesting. I don't um, if you did find this interesting, great! Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, obviously, all information, all the links I mentioned, I'll put in the description. All the other pertinent information is also in the description. Things like my Twitter and email and Facebook and all that. Always in the description box. Um, if you're not a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button. 
Um, if you are a subscriber, and even if you're not and you like this video, hit the uh, little thumbs up button there. And uh, I think that's it. I don't have much anything else. I think I'm going to go try and beat that level on Doctor Who Legacy. If you hear me scream, you know that I wasn't successful. Curse your silence. Anyway, that's all I got for now. Bye.